All right, welcome. This is Garrison from Las Vegas. Again, we want to thank everybody for subscribing to our YouTube clips and uh, contacting us and sending us all these texts. Today we're going to discuss probably the most misunderstood part of the table for both the random and the dice setter. It is called the don't pass and the don't come part of the table. You know, the don't numbers are rolled approximately 52% of the time. The pass, not, pass line numbers are rolled approximately 48% of the time. Um, you know, you've got eight, eight ways to win on the come out with the 7-Eleven, four ways to lose on the craps. So the pass line shooter only has a plus four percentage of winning on his first roll. After the uh, point is established, the odds flip over to the don't shooter uh, by as much as six to five for the six and eight, three to two for the five and a nine, and a hefty two to one for the four and a ten in favor of the don't better. Um, so if you if you read all the books, and I've got a lot of books in my collection, they all tell you the same thing. Uh, if you lay odds on your don't bet, it's going to uh, lower your house advantage. With zero odds, it's 1.41. If you lay odds, single odds takes it down to a 0 0.83, double odds 0 0.59, etc. All the way down to 10 times odds, 0 0.17. Well, that may be true, but what they don't understand is the return on investment. And by the way, this is one of my books. Doesn't matter which one, it gives you all the uh, <coughs> percentages for laying odds. <clears throat> what these mathematicians haven't figured out or haven't told you is what is your return on investment? That is the key. How much money are you betting and how much money are you uh, winning? So let's take a, a quick look at that. Um, let's say you were betting $10 on the don't pass and four or ten became the point. You'd have to lay two to one odds if you follow the book. So you've got $20 in odds plus your $10 bet. You've got $30. Now if the shooter sevens out, what happens? You win even money on your uh, don't bet and you only win 50% on your lay bet. Uh, half as much. So you're betting 30 to win 20. All right. If you were to just keep your don't bet and not lay odds, you win 10 for 10. That's a hundred percent return on your money. Why lay more money to win less when you've got the odds in your favor? So really you have to learn your return on investment called ROI. Um, and the best thing is once you've got the odds in your favor is just to sit there. Don't lay odds because when you give, when you lay odds, you give that uh, percentage back to the casino. Here's a, uh, a chart that we actually include in the uh, super package. It shows you that the don't pass <clears throat> has one of the best uh, advantages for the uh, shooter. It's actually 1.36. The pass line's 1.41. But you can see it's at the top of the chart. By laying odds, you're giving back all that power back to the casino, and you're losing anywhere from uh, 18 to 20 to 25 percent of your investment. You give back to the casino. Now that also works for other numbers. Let's say you had the five and a nine. Uh, if you had ten dollar odds and you laid 15, and let's say the shooter sevens out, you win even money on your uh, don't bet, 100 percent but you only win 10 for 15 on your odds bet. You're laying 15 to win 10. That's a 75% return on your uh, lay bet, but you do get 100% return on your odds bet. So <clears throat> a smart shooter is going to want 100% return on his money instead of 75 to 80% return on his money. All right. It's called ROI, return on investment. And let's say you read the book and you said, well, you know what? I read the book. I'm going to lay uh, $50 odds, uh, five times odds on my $10 uh, don't bet. Let's say it's a four or 10. Now you've got $60 bet. Again, you win 100% on your don't bet and you only win half on your lay bet. So you're betting 60 to win 35. 
It's insane. And what happens if the shooter makes the point? And believe me, a lot of do, uh, dumb shooters sometimes make their point. You're risking 60 to lose 60. You've lost the whole bet. All right, there's better ways to bet on the down. It's called hedge betting. All right, that get, that's in the uh, uh, DVDs that we have. But uh, once you're on the don't side, you've got the house against the wall. The odds are six to five, three to two, or two to one in your favor. You want to hedge bet your don't bets. You don't want to lay odds and win less. All right. In fact, the other night I was actually playing at a casino, and I was betting twenty to twenty-five on my uh, don't bet, my don't pass bet. As soon as the point was established, the dealer said, "Well, sir, don't you want to lay odds?" And I said, no, I want you to pay me 100% on my investment. Well, that was the end of that conversation. In fact, the box man kind of looked at me and kind of gave me a nod like, okay, we get it. You know, he knew that I knew by laying odds, I was giving all that power back to the casino and I was risking more to win less. If I won the bet, they had to pay me 100% on my money and uh, I had the advantage of that bet. All right. So... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a small clip of from the uh, beginner and uh, intermediate uh, DVD uh, that gives you a little bit uh, information about the uh, don't come bets. I mean, I'm sorry, the don't pass bets. All right. And uh, then we're going to come back and show you how dice setting can be an advantage for the don't player. It's a, it's a huge advantage. Unfortunately, People are afraid of the don't pass and the don't come. You have to understand it. And the reason is most people are afraid about it. Uh, most books don't get into the subject matter that much because they don't understand it. You know, the authors are great at all this math to uh, lay odds and uh, reduce your house vig and everything, but they don't really understand the return on investment. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a clip uh, from the beginner. DVD, which by the way is two hours long, then we're going to come back and discuss it. <clears throat> oh, sorry, we lost the clip. All right, let me punch it up real quick. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Enjoy. They call right better. People bet against the dice are called wrong betters. This is called a simple don't pass system. Now the dice are coming out, there's people betting a pass line all around the table. Let's suppose I'm going to bet, don't pass. You put your $5 on the don't pass line. On the come out roll, just opposite to the right betting, if the 7 or 11 comes, you lose. If the 2 or 3 comes, you win. You see this word here, don't pass, bar 12. It doesn't say don't pass bar. You're not playing the don't pass bar. You are not playing the don't pass bar. You're playing the don't pass and you're barring the 12. So on the come out roll, even though the right bettors lose on the 12 is a crap, the wrong bettors do not win on 12 because they're barring the 12. Some casinos bar the two. If you see a casino that bars a one, two, don't play there. Because the three, the two, the, uh, three can be made uh, two ways. Two, one, one, two. And the two aces can, and the, or the 12 can be made one way. So if they bar the three, don't play there. Anyhow, the dice came out. Pick a number, John. Six was the point. I really didn't want the six, but this is what's gonna happen. The taking of odds on the right side is based on how many ways you can make that number as opposed to the seven. So if I was gonna take odds behind the line, I would take $5 odds and be paid six to five because the odds against me is six to five. The opposite to it, John, let me have some, uh, watch it. Thanks. If I was going to bet on the don't pass, after the point is established, I am now going to lay odds. And the way I lay odds is based on the number of ways you can make the seven, which is six, as opposed to the number of ways you can make that particular number. So the six or eight can be made five ways. So I am going to drop this on the table. I'm going to, oh, by the way, you can touch your odds bets here. I am going to lay six dollar odds against the six because the odds are six to five against me. John, how do you set it up here in the stratosphere? Just uh, like that. Okay, do it. Some casinos will do it this way here, off to the side, but I, I grew up like this, laying it put on top. The six and the eight, the odds are six to five. Let's suppose the point was eight. It's the same thing, six to five. Suppose the point was five or nine. The odds on the five or nine is three to two, six to four, or nine to six. So I am going to lay odds of three to two in any inc increments I want, up to the amount that they will let you lay. In this case here, suppose you're basic better. I am going to lay $9 odds against the six. 
I, I beg your pardon, against the nine or the five. So the odds are nine to six. Let's suppose the, the, uh, the seven comes. Of course, if, if, the, if the number comes, I'm going to lose. But suppose the number comes. Watch what John pays me. Oh, they did. It's that okay? Yeah. Always said, yeah. Show me. This is where they laid the odds on the five or nine. See what he did? He paid me five dollars, even money, for my no nine. It's a good bet. I'm getting paid even money, even though the odds are six to four in my favor. That's a good bet. But you got to get past the seven or eleven on the come out roll. Then he paid me six dollars for my nine dollar odds bet. Let's suppose the point was four or ten. Point was four. I'm going to lay odds. Ten dollars odds. The seven comes in. He's going to pay me five dollars for my no bet. He's going to pay me five dollars for my ten to five lay bet. He's paying me the true odds, of what I'm putting on the table. I put ten dollars on the table. He paid me five. If I put twenty dollars odds, he'd pay me ten, and so on. He'd pay me one to two because the odds are one to two. Okay, now I walked up to this table. The point became a four. I placed five dollars on the on the don't pass, and when the point became a four. I want to lay the odds. I don't lay the odds because I like odds. I do not like odds. Odds are a dumb, stupid bet. Why would you go to all the trouble of establishing a point right now? Suppose I establish four as my point. I have the four for five dollars. Let's suppose a guy standing next to me also made a bet on the don't pass, and he laid odds. Let's suppose the seven comes in. John is going to pay me. $5 for my pass, I uh, pay me $5 for $5. He's going to pay this other guy $5 for his pass line bet and 5 for 10 That means he is risking $15 to win 10 I'm risking 5 to win 5 Why did he put an extra $10 out for 5 I, I, I'll never understand it. I do not lay odds unless it's for a purpose. Suppose I was betting on a don't pass line. I was betting on a don't pass and 4 the four became the point. We'll make the four. Now, I want another number. Here's what you do. You lay the odds against the four, which is two to one. You put five dollars in the don't come. If the seven comes in, I'm going to win here, but I'm going to lose this five dollar bet. So let's suppose the shooter throws a seven. He paid me ten dollars, and I lost my five dollar bet. I still had a five dollar profit. What I'm trying to do is protect with these odds bet the don't come bet. Let's suppose the five comes in. This five dollar bet is going to go behind the five. Now I'm going to take down my odds as quick as I can. I now have five dollars on the no four, five dollars on the no five. I want to establish another don't come bet. I don't have to lay odds because if I put in five dollars in the don't come, the seven can't hurt me. If the seven comes, I'll lose this bet here. But I win five dollars on the no four, which is a point. I win five dollars on the no five. So without laying odds, I am now risking five dollars to win ten. The only thing that can beat me, of course, is a four to five coming back. But the seven can be made six ways. If the seven comes in, I've got two bets to win on. And if he is going to make a number, since there's only three ways to make a four and four ways to make a five, as opposed to six ways to make a seven, the odds are in my favor. I'm in a no-lose situation. The reason I'm making that bet is to protect my bet. Let's suppose on this particular number now, the, the nine comes in. John is going to move the, the five dollars behind the nine. Now I have no four, no five, no nine. I've got three powerful numbers. I have options at this point. I can, A, leave this bet here with no four, no five, and no nine. The only way he's going to beat me is by coming back and beating those numbers. But he's got to throw those numbers one at a time to beat me. John, give me some uh, whites, please. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little bit of hedge betting that's going to give me the opportunity of betting right and wrong at the same time. I'm going to drop. <coughs> All right. So that was about five minutes out of a two-hour DVD, and you probably learned more about uh, your don't bets in five minutes than you have in the last ten years. In fact, uh, there's another sh uh, chart that we put in your super package, and it shows the difference. It shows you what the odds are of a shooter rolling a seven. You know that uh, random, he's going to roll a seven every six rolls. All right, but just so you have it. Uh, the first roll, you can roll a 7, 16%, uh, 16.67% 16 because there's six ways to roll a 7 out of 36 combinations. But then it starts to increase. Second roll, 30% uh, you may roll a 7. Then it goes to 42, then a 51, uh, 59. By the time the shooter's gotten to the sixth roll, 
the odds are 66.51% he's going to roll a 7. If the shooter gets up to 10 rolls, it jumps up to 83.85. So that 7 is always hiding there. That's why it can be a, a, a good investment for the don't. Now, let's talk about dice setting. Uh, you know, in the uh, dice setting chart that we give you in the super package, you've got all the sets. Once you establish your point, especially if it's a 4, 5, 9, or 10, the odds really fall into your favor because you've got uh, six ways random to roll the 7. And by doing the uh, dice setting, which this is a, a sheet of the dice setting uh, strategy cards, and one side has all your do sets with the uh, sets and the access numbers. You flip it over, it's got all the don't sets. So once you establish a four, uh, a four, six, eight, or ten, the odds are four ways to roll the seven, and only one way, four ways to roll the seven, only one way to roll the four, six, eight, or ten. So now the odds are four to one in your favor. When you get the five and the nine by putting the dice together in a certain set which we give you, you have four ways to roll the seven and zero ways for the five and the nine. Those are the best odds you're ever going to get at a table because the odds are four to zero in your favor. You can seven out before the, uh, the point. <clears throat> and if you go random, you've got six ways, then it goes back to uh, uh, six ways for the uh, seven and uh, four ways for the five and a nine. But if you set the dice, you've got four ways to seven out or win, in your case, and zero ways to uh, lose. It's a great way to play. So <clears throat> there's a lot of advantages for the uh, dice setter from shooting from the don't. And of course, uh, that's all included in your package. Now we showed you about five minutes of the beginner and intermediate two-hour DVD. You know, John uh, gives you the book in the package, and if you didn't know that, he actually took time out to autograph that book. It's something you're going to want to have in your collection. You're going to have an autographed signed copy. You get the two-hour DVD, beginning and intermediate, then we just, uh, we just got the Advanced and Super DVD. That's another two hours. So you get four hours of instruction that you'll never find anywhere else because nobody knows this information. I just watched this the other night because I was going to go to the table. We were going to shoot from the don't, and there's a lot of hedge betting and advanced ways to play off the don't on the Advanced and Super DVD. He covers it in the beginning but then he gets really, really deep in the advanced and super. So I watch these videos from time to time just to brush up. It's like watching a movie for the second or third time. You always pick up something that you didn't uh, see the first time. So remember, if you're playing from the don't, don't lay odds. Hedge bet. And we, we get into that very deep. Don't be afraid of the don't side. I don't know why players don't bet the don't side more. I think it's because they don't understand it. And the casinos don't really uh, like you to play from the don't because they play on the don't all the time. You know, the don't uh, bet favors the player after the come out set. All right. So listen, if you're serious about craps, you know, get the super package. If you only go to the table once a year or, you know, twice a year, don't buy it because it's got too much information. You're not going to understand it. You're the kind of guy that goes up with $200 and loses it all, and that's your budget. But if you go to the tables at least once a month or more than that, you definitely know how to have to play. You've got to have the big four. You have to have a bankroll. You have to have knowledge. You've got to be perfect, baby. You've got to have uh, money management. You've got to have discipline. Uh, the little three, the theory on how to play, the logic way of playing. Like I said, hedge betting on the don't is the logical way to play. And trends. Trends dominate. We tell you, watch a table. If five shooters in a row have sevened out, why are you betting the pass line? The table is, is, is leaning don't. Get on the, the side that's going to win you money. All right. And then when the table changes, get back on the numbers. Uh, so anyways, you get the book. You get the uh, uh, two-hour 
uh, DVD, beginning and intermediate. You can get the advanced DVD. We'll throw that in. Uh, you get the dice setting strategy cards. You get the dice setting DVD which is something we did on YouTube, so that'll give you three DVDs. Uh, the beginning package with the dice setting and intermediate is only $69.95. We give you all these extra articles that we did on combats and